Hi everyone, welcome back to my decluttering series. Today I am going to be decluttering my office, books, paper, and just kind of stationary items. Here in my apartment I don't really have a designated office, so I just kind of have my desk in this little corner area. Uh, but I do have a bookshelf and papers just piled in little bins and extra stationary items and notebooks in bins in my closet area. So today I'm going to be taking all of that out and just kind of throwing it into one area and looking through everything. I'm embarking on this journey in 2023 to live a more minimalistic and simple and intentional life. And if you are trying to embark on your journey as well or just kind of simplify your life in any way, please use this as motivation and maybe we can declutter together. If you have any comments or any suggestions about anything at all, I love to hear about your advice or your journey in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get started. I would like to also start off by saying that I will be moving soon, so if you see me putting stuff in boxes and not actually organizing them, it's because I am already basically packing it up while decluttering. I'm going to start off now by taking everything off my desk that is essentials to me, so I'm going to keep them out until I move. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Please tell me I'm not the only one that has just like a bin of random school supplies just in their closet or under their bed that they just don't get rid of because they're like oh maybe i'll need these massive amount of printer paper one day even though i don't have a printer <laughs> or like 50 post-it notes and what's really weird is that i have a weird obsession with school supplies i'm not even in college anymore um i never finished college i kind of dropped out like two or three different times. <laughs> I know it might sound kind of weird that I have 12 packs of staples and just paper clips, but honestly, my mom works for the school district, so she brought home a lot of this extra office stuff when I used to live with her and my dad. It, it was back when I was, it was actually needed, and even then, it didn't even, it, I didn't, I didn't need that many. I also have a weird obsession with notebooks and I just have had this my entire life. Notebooks are just so beautiful to me and I just love journaling and I love jotting down ideas. When I was younger, I also used to write about my vacations. Like literally this notebook is from 2011. That's fucking crazy. That was so, that was over a decade ago. That's literally insane. I don't even know why I keep these planners from middle school through high school. I don't, it just feels so nostalgic for me. It's what I planned back then. This was how I went about my weeks, my days. Like in a way, it's kind of like a personal diary to me. Even though I didn't write my feelings out in these planners, it was just like, okay, what did, I, what was I doing? How was my workout schedule? How was I completing my tasks e each week? What were my goals? You know what I mean? You know, the thing with minimalism is you don't have to get rid of everything. And if there's things that really mean a lot to you in this way that it does to me, you can keep them because as long as they serve a purpose in your life, as long as it's an intentional thing in your life and it, get, it brings you joy, as Marie Kondo would say, then keep it because 
there's no harm in keeping what you might think is clutter but you love so much like obviously 50 planners of mine well not 50 but five planners random years and 20 different notebooks are gonna be cluttered like i obviously know that it's just something i love and i'm not gonna compromise on that because i don't have to of hearing your voice every morning i wake to a kiss on my face so oh, i don't need too much just your simple love and it's Walking to the market, strolling hand in hand, exchanging letters when you're away. Don't need any effort when we are together. We always have fun throughout the day. I do anything to get your attention. When you say you love me, I seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do without you Because all I need All I need I have always loved reading, but I have kind of rekindled that passion and love for reading in 2022. So I kind of went on a whole just wave of buying so many books and now my to-be-read list is like 10 books. <laughs> I mean, it's great. I love having a full bookshelf. I My goal is to just fill up this bookshelf with self-help books on the first shelf, poetry on the second, and then the third, dive into a little bit more fiction. If you ever want to escape the world sometimes, pick up a good fiction book. I was reading a lot of self-help books, and let's be real, self-help is great and all, but reading too much of it can be a disservice to yourself. Sprinkle it in here and there, but don't forget your fiction or your poetry if you're into that as well. Organizing papers can be really daunting and just kind of really tedious, especially since we get mail, obviously, every other day. And so whenever we get mail that we're kind of just like, I don't know if this is too important yet or I might need it later, we kind of just throw it in that bin. We never go through this, so I'm taking the time to actually go through these now and I'm realizing that Basically, all of this I don't even need. I know that some people actually scan their documents in a little app and they can get a PDF form, and I think I'm going to do that as well with some of my important documents. I might end up going back and doing it later, but that is an option as well. I went ahead and went through everything, and I went ahead and put all of our important papers in this one folder area and then these two little extra folders I just kept for our apartment stuff and just one empty one. All right, everyone. Well, this is it for this video. I am so happy this is done because this was so long awaited. <laughs> And thank you all for watching this series. If you've been watching in the past couple parts, I have a couple more, I think three more episodes of this little series. If you want to go ahead and binge watch the rest, go ahead. I am doing literally every area of my life declutter. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'd love to get to know you all and just kind of talk about our journeys if we would like to. And I would just love to learn about you guys. And as always, stay safe and I will see you all in the next part. Bye! All that I need is your body next to me on rainy days Just need your company, don't need too much Just your simple love and it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face, so I don't need too much